Hi Taurus, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and welcome to your reading. Now let's begin. I've already cleansed the space. I've meditated on the cards. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If this reading resonates for you, give this video a thumbs up and then leave a comment down below how it went for you. Or, or at least leave a heart emoji. I would really appreciate that. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who's liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me here on YouTube. And thank you for supporting other tarot readers on YouTube as well. I'm accepting personal readings. So if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, all you have to do is click on the link in the description box down below. All right. You have the Seven of Coins, the Death Card, the Queen of Cups, the King of Wands. The star card. The ace of coins. All right. And then the king, the four of coins. All right. Okay. Okay. Just when you thought it was over between the two of you or it's like going uh, dry and you feel like think the, the, the other person is going to break it off with you there's a miracle that's coming in for you Taurus it's very beautiful all right underneath the deck is a three of wands there's actually expansion coming in for you for the both of you this is something you don't see because it, you kind of waited I'm really getting you kind of waited for this person to make a move for this person to tell you how they feel for this person to lay out the plans all right i'm really getting that i do get a lot of passion from this person this person is very romantic swept you off your feet but then again it feels like they don't have any plans well they do they do now all right expansion coming in seven of coins as the overall energy of your reading i, I told you earlier you waited you waited for and this person waited for everything to grow. Just proper timing, all right? Proper timing. When I was doing your meditation, the Wheel of Fortune showed up for you. So yeah, everything happens in divine timing. There is a blessing in the patience that you've put in, all right? The death card and then the star card. Again, as I told you earlier, could have been. you could be dealing with a... A Scorpio or an Aquarius, take it how it resonates, but Death card and then the Star card, just when you thought things are over or are about to be over, there's a miracle that shows up for you. All right. This person sees you as their North Star. You are the direction that they're headed towards to. I'm hearing that. You are their North Star. There's a rebirth happening here, and it's, I'm hearing it's better than ever. Okay. You have the Queen of Cups and then the Ace of Coins. You could have a water placement somewhere, but I do get that you are this person's love interest. You are loving, you're nurturing, you're warm, you're that attractive that way. You're beautiful inside and out. And this person I know it took some time because it is a pentacle that's coming in, but it's something very stable and secure. This is something that the universe has gifted for you because of your patience, because of your selfless kind of love, because of the warmth and the love you share. Okay. The king of wands and then the four of coins. Again, if this person held back before, no longer right now. They're no longer holding back. I'm really getting the reason why they were holding back before was because they were very cash-strapped. For some of you, they were very cash-strapped. They're not like you who's very well off. I'm getting someone who's very well off here. All right, male, female. This is not a gender-specific reading. We're looking at the energies. But... Um, this person is about to take action. This person will sweep you off your feet every day for the rest of your life, I'm hearing. This is someone who, 
for some of you, I'm really getting a struggling artist. All right? A struggling artist. So it can or cannot resonate with you. doesn't matter. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it, whatever resonates for you, that's what I'm trying to say. But this person will sweep you off your feet every day for the rest of your life. Is someone who loves you, very passionate, very romantic, all right? Good looking, tall, dark, and handsome. Could be dealing with a fire sign. Where is this headed? The wheel of fortune showing up for you again, outcome. All right, wheel of fortune, the chariot. And then six of coins. Finally, balance coming in for you. Uh, something that you've been waiting for divine timing at play if it comes in it comes in very fast very hot and it brings a lot of balance all right brings a lot of balance you have the two of cups as advice for you i'm getting this is a divine union soulmate energy a soulful connection between the two of you hmm. equal give and take there is equal give and take here Let's see, anything else? Anything else, please? All right, we have three cards. Let's see. You have Lilith, all right? Reclaim your power. So for some of you, it feels, again, it feels like, um, it's not going well for you. It feels like um, no matter how much you manifest, you've like given up on it. Reclaim your power. You have the power to manifest this relationship to a higher level of commitment. All right, this uh, sun finding balance again, the balance card here. Okay, and then curiosity. What sparks your interest? All right. No, okay. So that is all I have for you, Taurus. I hope something in this reading resonated. And if it did, give this video a thumbs up and then leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I love you all so much. I'll see you in the next reading and stay blessed.